Oh, yes, here I go. <laughs> Got my track suit. Oh, that on. looks really hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah. Just warming up. <laughs> just warming... Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was saying earlier that I've started the Couch to 5K challenge, so in nine weeks, apparently, I should be able to go from lying on the couch to running... 5k without stopping. I can't imagine it at all at the moment. I'm finding it quite a challenge, but I'm ploughing on. I did it. I did it. I did my first one. Oh, thank you, God, for making me go out because I was dithering and castinating, procrastinating, whatever it's called. <sighs> back. I did it. Run two. It was still hard, but I quite enjoyed it. But I enjoy it when it's finished. <laughs> Got said to me this morning, you're looking you excited about going out. It's like, no, not really. I found that quite hard. But, you know, it was hard, but I still did it. So that is week two, run one. Tick! See you. We're going to have a gin now. Well done, Lou. I don't know what you're applauding. I'm Do you have to you're... end up running, like, 5K a day? No, so the idea is that you would be able to run a 5K without stopping. Yeah, so like every day? Well, no, not every day. Well, some ah. people might run every day. I don't know. She's only had often. 500 steps now. But the, the idea is that you build up really slowly. So it's for people that have never run or even done any exercise. And, you know, we were saying so many of you have said you feel a bit embarrassed um, exercising in public. Yeah. And, so it's to just get you going. You walk, you do a warm up, and you have, um, your, you know, your earphones <clears> in. And I'm listening to the app, and it basically talks you through. I've got Sarah Millican, actually, so it's really funny. So Sarah goes, Well done. You're doing great. And I go, <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> and so you then they say, OK, get ready for your run, and you run for a minute, which feels like yeah. forever when you start. Yeah, you know, yeah. It sounds so easy. Um, I'm now on week two, and then you walk for a minute and a half and get your breath back, and then you run for a minute, and you walk for a minute and a half and get your breath back. Then you do a kind of walk at the end. And I'm in week two now, so I'm running for a minute and a half, That's which, again, good. sounds like nothing. The first one I did, I was like, please make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, hard, you know, but thank you, everybody, for sending me messages. And do so you run as fast as you were running then on that? No, I do, I do actually run. I do but, actually run, but, you know, Ruth, we've got a lot but, of health and safety things yeah, we, going on here. <laughs> so That's have to be exactly careful. how I learned to run years ago. I had a boyfriend who was a very keen jogger, so I was anxious to keep <laughs> up with him. But I, I did that interval thing where you walk 100 paces and then you run 100 paces. And if you're tired at the end of the 100 pace uh, running steps, you reduce them. And, and you gradually decrease your running uh, decrease your walking and increase your running. So you just count the number of steps in yeah. your head. And you can do it, and you're doing it exactly the right way. I hope so. Do you know what and I can do, though? I, I can run the 100 steps to the kettle to make the tea <laughs> all day long. But I was saying to Stephen the other day, when I was at school, I came last in everything. I was just not sporty except for hockey. And he said, why did you come last in running and everything? I went, because Mary Peters... Pentathlon gold medal <laughs> was actually in my class. Oh, no. So oh, none of us had any chance of winning anything. Absolutely. But you know, the lovely thing is, is the encouragement. I think when anybody starts, when you do these group things, mm. and that's why I put it on my social media, because I've been thinking about it for a while. I downloaded the app. I just looked at it, hadn't done it. I thought, if I make this public declaration and go, OK, everyone, I'm doing it. Yeah. And so I've got lots of people, including our producer today, Matty, who's been doing it. He's ahead of me, so he's giving me advice. Advice, then there are people who are joining behind me now and saying, oh, I'm finding it hard and I'm, be I'm able to say, keep going, honestly, it'll be easier next week. So there's this really nice community of, you know, nobody's professional runners or athletes. We're all just encouraging just doing it. each other. When do you actually do the, the 5K? Well, apparently... After nine weeks, you should be. But having said that, I have um, some people have said, oh, I got to week five and I was struggling, so I've gone back to week four, which I think is sensible. Yeah. Like, don't push yourself. Um, so, uh, apparently, in nine weeks. So, we right. will see. But what don't... week are you? Oh, t week two. Ah. In fact, I've Still got to time for today. you to sign up, Colleen. No, the best piece of advice I ever got was from a physiotherapist who said to me, because of your back situation, the worst thing you can do is run. I don't know what made him think I was ever running in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously he thought that's how I did my back in. Anyway, so no did you know, though, we did a, a poll about this, about um, are you too self-conscious to exercise in public? And yeah. I was really shocked because 72% are too embarrassed and really? too self-conscious to do it in public. And I think that's really, really sad it because is. whenever I see anybody out running, power walking, uh, whatever they're doing, I always think, go on, good for you. And it's not about... And mm. actually, 
the bigger they are, the more impressed I yeah. am cause, because because I know how it. difficult that is. And mm -hmm. it, you know, I don't think anyone should ever be, you know, yeah. ashamed to do yeah. it in public. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. well, you know, and I would say if you can't run, you maybe walk. Start with walking.